you've come so far. Hello, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Prue, or Prue LaRue, and today is a review and a quick tutorial of the Kush Queen palette. I've just released a three looks one palette video on this, and you may be wondering, Prue, why would you post another video so quickly afterwards? Well, I kind of want to delete that video. My headspace hasn't been in a good spot, and I'm just going to insert a quick clip here. Hi, so I wanted to do like a quick <sighs> I don't even know where to start with this so hopefully you've just seen the intro for this video I'll put a bit down to where you can skip if you don't want to see this and you can move on to the next part but what I wanted to sort of cover was I didn't realize how stressed out I was getting recently until I stopped well until I broke down into tears at work over something so small and parents had to go home and I'm I'm on stress leave at the moment it's nearly over but I'm feeling so much better but I do feel bad for the video I've just put out which is the three looks one palette with the Kush palette and I'm just gonna do a better one today and I sort of just want to explain so the first look I was in I was super stressed out the second look I think I'd just been crying all day <laughs> so it's not very good but that that's why it is really hard to create something I think when your mind's not in the right spot and I just I just wanted to share that sometimes like we all need to take a break from whatever we're doing and sort of recalibrate our minds and if you're interested I will do like a video on it later I'm still sorting through some stuff and so it will yeah it's just taking time to process everything that's been going on but I'm feeling so much better and I'm so excited to do a final look today <laughs> Anyway, so I'm going to go put my base on and I'll see you in a sec. I'm going to try this clip to get back. So thanks for listening. Anyway, this is the final look from today's video and I just want to start off with a review and then the video will end with a tutorial of this look. If you want to stick around and watch. So Peachy Queen Blogs is a pretty big Instagrammer. I think they've just started making palettes the clueless palette is their first palette that really made headlines if you google it then they've come out with the kush queen palette which i saw on makeup struggle stories and then they've released the pumpkin spice palette and i feel like anyone who's watching a lot of makeup news has definitely been seeing the pumpkin spice palette that one looks really nice and pumpkin spice is like a like a brown neutral palette with some reds this of course is more my aesthetic color theory wise I love the colors in here it cost me $44.26 USD I also bought some swatch stickers which didn't come with the package but are supposedly on their way it took two days to ship 10 business days to get to me from the US which is quite reasonable really and I'm pretty happy that equals about $60 Australian for this palette including shipping it is 34 USD which I think is about $48 or $50 Australian palette wise I think if these colors are really cool to you it's definitely worth testing out this seems to be on trend at the moment here we have my top performing shades from this palette so this here is lemon kush this is a really nice yellow it blends out a lot more muted and I like it as a base it really brightens pretty much any shadow up I've put on top of it and it's just it's it's a beautiful it's a very useful color this is northern lights and this blends out to a really nice green I really like it. it's quite unique for me this is Baba Kush up here it's a lot more muted when blended out than it is in the pan but it is a beautiful pink agent orange it's probably the best matte formula in here and it's just a beautiful orange 
These are my three standout shimmers from this palette. Purple Haze, Skywalker, and White Rhino. Skywalker is definitely my favorite, and if you do sit through the Three Looks One palette, you will see that. <laughs> it's just beautiful. White Rhino is amazing too. They're definitely my top two. And I don't think I have anything really comparable to these two. I really love them. The palettes, so those are my favorite colors. I find that Blueberry is quite lovely to deepen up the outer corner, but it's not that, it's a bit patchy at times. The golden shade, so Maui Waui, and I know this is Pineapple Express, OG Kush. They're really nice too. They're just not my, like I'm meh. I'm meh on them because they're just like more gold shades. So I've got plenty of these. So here we are, we have Maui Waui, OG Kush, and Pineapple Express. They're all beautiful, they all perform beautifully. That's Blueberry there. It's quite a powdery shade, but it does blend with some help. And it is nice. It And it does actually go with pretty much all the other mattes in here quite nicely and will deepen them up. Ultimately, this is a great palette if you're just getting into color and it appeals to you. So the theming is very weed inspired, which like I kind of just think is funny. If you go to my first impressions video on this one, I spent some time about how I enjoy watching stoner videos and stoner TV shows, but I've never been huge on like actual weed consumption. I, uh, the palette will last 12 months and it's Peter cruelty free. I'm fairly certain that's the bunny for Peter. You can tell me if I'm wrong though, please do. It looks like it's recyclable, interesting. It has a really nice mirror and does a nice full face if you like staring at yourself a lot. I think this palette definitely has a place in pretty much anyone's collection. But ultimately it's up to you if it's something that you would use. And there is heaps coming out like this at the moment. I know I shouldn't say that, Joan. Well, I'm, I'm not advertising for the brand. This is just the one I chose to buy, mainly because it kind of made me laugh. And I was always curious to try new brands. I'm on the hunt at the moment, constantly looking for new things to buy. I think if you love the color scheme in this and you love those shimmers, definitely worth checking out or picking up. If you're in the US, I probably would be more likely to pick it up. 34 USD is not, is pretty good for a palette. Australians or people in the UK or Canadians, we're all going to be paying about 60 Australian or I think 60 Canadian. We're like one on one for one. So it is missed. Like it, it, it's interesting. It has a lot of product for a palette at 43.2 grams in it. Each shadow has supposedly 2.88 grams of product in it, which is double a lot of other products these days. Almost like quadruple it in some cases. But ultimately for me, I never hit pan. I've, I've not hit pan in a long time. For Australians who may, if you maybe want to get something in store, the closest I think you're going to find is the Huda Beauty Electric Lights, which has a beautiful pink in it and yellow. So here we are. We've got the Huda, Huda, Huda yellow, Kush Queen yellow, Huda pink and Kush Queen pink so you can sort of see what I mean where they're just a bit muted that they're still pretty functional shades and they do work quite nicely and sometimes not having a pigmented shade is really a win because it means you don't go too heavy first on and you can build on it ultimately so I did buy swatch stickers as well which I was just amused to try because they're all the rage on Instagram they didn't come in the package which was disappointing and it was difficult to find where to message I did find a comment section on their website and I entered into that twice and then heard back a week later. So hopefully they'll come sometime, but I'm not really holding my breath to be honest. I think it's worth checking out. I definitely would be keen to try the pumpkin spice palette. That, one, that looks, it does look beautiful, but I, I need to stop buying things for a little bit. But I'm really excited to see what this brand comes out with in the future. They have some pretty cool ideas. I do like them. And it's, it's a good formula. I think it's worth it. 
and it's funny. I hope they come out with some more th funny themes. I mean, pumpkin spice, that's a good one. I'm looking forward to seeing where they go. And I definitely think it's worth testing them out if this is your cup of tea and if that is affordable for you. So now I'm going to lead you in to a tutorial. <laughs> and I hope you enjoy. Hello, so I'm trying to be more organized today. So do tell me if you like this, but I I do this for myself anyway later in editing so I know what's on my face because I forget. But for primer, I've got the Alpha H 30 plus SPF. It is hot and sunny here in Brisbane today. I've got my trusty Lancome shade 023 on my face. I've got, I mixed two concealers. I've got the Too Faced Born This Way Old Formula in Light with NARS Radiant Creamy and Custard. Uh, mainly I accidentally put custard on so I lightened it. I've got the Hourglass Powder Veil setting underneath my eyes right now. I have one of the new MAC Powder Kiss Lips and I think it's a little, a little tamed on my lippies. And I've done my brows with the Benefit Precisely. I've already put on eye primer. Ah, this is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and this is the NARS Radiant Cream, not NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Shadow Base on this eye because I just, I always like to do a little wear test and see how the shadows wear. And so we're going to go in with the Kush Queen palette once again. This is going to be my last time. Oh, so I can't stop labeling things at the moment. I have such a problem. I bought a labeler and now I want to label everything. So looking at the color eye looks I've done, I think Purple Haze hasn't got much love. So let's go in with purple today so when I'm doing colors and I'm not feeling super inspired I always like to go in with my color wheel and then I line it up so this is just lining up so purple goes well with green I guess let's put down the green well we should set my eyeshadow with something shouldn't we so let's set with yellow kush lemon kush which is a yellow shade Then I'm going to go in with Northern Lights, which is our green shade. And this is just going to go in the uh, crease. I've changed brush because the other one was quite stiff and I've realized I have really loose skin on my eyelids which sounds gross but it means that a softer brush is more effective for me because it just doesn't drag as much And we're gonna go in with indica, which is like a shimmery dark green. This is just going on the outer edges. Oops. And then I'm just going to get some more Northern Lights. And I'm just going to bring this here. We just don't want to lose it completely. Alright, and then we're 
just add a little bit something something for the inner corner. Express. So Maui Wowie, OG Kush, Pineapple Express, and White Rhino. Maui Wowie is probably going to be the colour that suits the best, but I like playing with colour, so it's White Rhino. And I've just got this little tiny brush and just picking up White Rhino. I hope this is just going to tie that green in beautifully. That's like my goal here. Yeah. Voila! We're about done. Fair bit of fallout. What shade is it that's fallen? I think it's all the purple. It's partially my fault. I could have tapped it off or spritzed it. So let's wipe this off and see if our powder trick has worked. Oh, something weird's going on there. The Nars is like come out too far. Well, that. And then what color should we put underneath our eyes? So I've just got in. I put. I ended up using the foundation. It's just, but it's still a bit funny looking. Let's use our favourite handy dandy, the ambient powders. These are meant to be magical and they do anything. Well, essentially they blur the skin, I think. Alright, that's just going to stay there. I can't, I can't be bothered. The only way for me to get rid of that at this stage is if I remove it all. And I, I can't be bothered, this took too long. So, I'm going to go in something under the eyes. I think let's use Bubba, Bubba Kush, which is our pink. Mm. Oh, nose! Ow! <clears throat> These are all the brushes I've just used. In the dirty part. All right, so I think I'm just gonna quickly finish my blush and stuff and put mascara on. I'll be back for you in a second to tell you what I did. So I finished up my face, and oh, I forgot earlier, I do have the KKK contour stick on just in a few spots blended out. I put the butter bronzer on, this is light. A Colourpop blush, I've used my the Petal Metal Highlighter from the Smashbox Bladder Ugh, collection. Limited edition, no longer available. I'm obsessed. I love this product. Better Than Sex Mascara. Kat Von D Trooper Liner on. And I think that's what I did. Oh, and I covered my face in the Morphe setting spray. And this is the final look. I'm back quickly just for a quick check in. My lips faded mm, hours ago. So I've just topped up and I've got the like this hourglass mini stick thing. Does it even have the shade? Yeah, in Peacemaker that I just put on. So I've just lightly dusted my face with powder so I'm not as oily as I was. I put my hair up in a ponytail because that's high roll when I can't be bothered straightening my hair. Oh, and this is one of the Beauty Leap boxes and they come out on the 24th in two days. I can't wait. It's my favorite time. So let's have a look and see how the eyeshadows hold up. Are you ready to come in? Mm. So I believe this was the Nas side. Beautifully. And these have a really beautiful glitter effect and I don't think I'll be able to show you adequately the Too Faced side these both um, two, I'm gonna say that Too Faced won this time oh no they both they both did a beautiful job they've both held up beautifully all that transfer is totally normal for me and the shitty blend job I did on that one is how it was so I've been thinking about this palette today The shimmers are beautiful and if it's a palette that you don't have it's probably worth getting but 
There's so many palettes out there at the moment. Like, get what you want. But if you're interested in this one and that's why you're at this video, yeah, I reckon it's worth it. I've made some really beautiful, colourful eye looks with it. 